We made a video last weekend on two things. The most important one was the discussion about delves, kind of cutting off the bottom end of keys. We had a pretty heated discussion in that one. A lot of people commented on that as well. And I think in this video, you are going to see a pretty clear indication of why it's an issue. Now, we don't know that it is for sure because of this or anything like that, but I'm just suggesting that if it theoretically was because of that, this would be the issue that you would see. And then we also talked about this specific key level being something that people need to go out of their way to spend time in and i'm going to show you again why that is just nonsense let's take a look so we are on our way to a dawn breaker you can see in the top left is the chat looks like this conversation is already kind of funny i'm going to read the comment that gets sent to me in the email as well but just out of the gate you see the paladin types a question mark then types sorry caps in all caps <laughs> okay just pay attention to that here is the email i'm going to read that now i started a series on my youtube channel where i pug from zero io to keystone mass I'll send you the first to span in my journey because this was the most disastrous dungeon I've done in a while. The key holder is the Resto Shaman who had the Thunderous Hero title. He is 548 item level and that's a funny thing to consider especially given the videos we made last weekend. He said that isn't necessarily a problem in the video though. I got the feeling that before we even entered the dungeon the tank is nervous because he joined, asked how everyone is, then fat fingered a question mark but apologized for using caps lock and he didn't even use caps lock. I checked him out on Raider IO after and I think he started playing WoW only this expansion and has only been doing raids so far because he had a 616 item level but his only timed key was a 2 SV. The healer probably expected a carry due to the high item level of the group but he got something else instead. So yeah kind of everything that we talked about in the last few weeks merging into one key here talking about a sub 550. What is that gear? That's like you literally just finished leveling. I think you might even be higher than that by leveling nowadays. But yeah Don breaker five <laughs> we talked about this uh so much last weekend uh the concept of a five it's really just a kind of wasted key right now and you're gonna see why right here i mean right out of the gate i think you know the person who submitted this was correct that it is actually like just straight never done some of this stuff before like total inexperience altogether a lot of people were countering the whole idea about delves saying that like nobody's doing keys above a two with zero io i think the big problem that people aren't considering is that there is eight dungeons with with all different challenges one thing that i wanted to draw attention to that the person who emailed me thought it was funny too you see how they pull these two and then the tank runs to the left look at this he's, i think he's following the npcs he sees the npc over there so he thinks there must be a reason over there but like he, he looks like he's about to go pull that stuff that the person who emailed me that thought that was funny it's just like more general inexperience here that you have and i do think like you know at this point because keys were kind of overridden by delves and even other content like you know they said that it was maybe because of rating that this person had the gear they have it's very very easy to just skip the beginning and uh, skip the learning process and i think the biggest failure point is on blizzard for making zeros totally joke mode and give basically nothing in the terms of like what gearing is elsewhere in other systems you know and a lot of people countered saying like well this is a player problem they should be wanting to improve and they should be wanting to do these things and yes i totally agree with this i need to very clearly articulate that that anybody who is trying to skip progression is somebody that should just stop trying to do that unless they're sure they can and that they don't need to learn from the ground up but the problem is they're not like i hate to say this word but that's kind of the truth they're not really intelligent enough to know that they're skipping progression they're just following breadcrumbs they're following things that blizzard has laid out for them they say well gearing is important right so how do we gear in this game we look for the item level that is higher than ours currently okay great so i have a bunch of hero track gear from delves which were very 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 easy solo content now what is the next thing that i need oh i need currency to upgrade that hero track or i can go get mythic track how do i get that watch a video online and somebody says mythic sevens are the way to do it you know and then we have a guy like this basically here so watch how this unfolds you, you can see the chat in the top left all right so they finish that pack the shaman healer he says be right back i forgot purge and he is going to run out of the dungeon this is at 29 24 ish 21 ish depending on when you consider him ending the pack and now look at how long we're going to stand up here so the the dps shaman he's like not really too happy about waiting so he's kind of like running around getting really close to trash hank's just like super cautious about i mean i really think in a five you can just go ahead and pull this trash like maybe don't pull the whole boat or something but yeah i don't think there's any reason to be spending like a full minute and a half waiting for this so one of those rp mobs actually died watch how this unfolds this is crazy so that shadow mage respawns and i guess because the dps shaman is too close to where it spawns it's now attacking him this is really weird i've never seen this before the affix is going to spawn the healer's finally 
suddenly almost back. So we're going to try to deal with the affix, but in so doing, we get too close to the trash. So the trash aggros and kills the DPS shaman who is just kind of AFK standing there getting attacked by RP mobs. This boss, you could imagine a brand new player in a dungeon, probably going to be a problem. You see how hard this tank's getting hit? Probably not preparing for this damage at all, which is actually kind of wild. If five tyrannical is hitting this guy this hard, and I was just like kind of tanking him in the puddles, like the puddles are dropped poorly, honestly, but the boss is just standing in them and he doesn't realize that it's like an issue. So now you have to like go into the puddles to dodge the actual mechanic. So we're going to do this flying phase and yeah, you would expect a new player to maybe have trouble with this and that's exactly what's going to happen. I have no idea what happens to this paladin. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me based on what you're seeing on his like debuff frame. What is that ticking down debuff? Does that mean he doesn't have the golden light thing or something? It's, it's like a ticking debuff. It goes all the way to zero and then he just ultimately dies. The guy's nowhere near the boss right now. Like, I can't even tell where he is. I think he's probably maybe fallen or something. Did he, like, jump off? I looked to see if he uses bubble and jumps off. But no, actually, ironically, he uses bubble right here. He's at, like, 10% health, probably just standing in the beam or something like that. And then just, like, randomly bubbles when he's at full health. You can see it on the Omni CD thing. Can never see him flying. Like, I don't really see his character. It's, like, kind of weird. It, like, kind of bounces back and forth at one point. Try to look at the mini map, and you may see, like, it just, it's there, and then it's gone gone and now it's back on the boat and it's gone again and now it's back and I, I don't know if he just like walks off like I at no point do I see his character anywhere so yeah all I know is this whatever this is is ticking down to his eventual death and he doesn't seem to be like he's just in the middle of the water so I would imagine he just like flew away or fell or something I don't really know so we were worried about not having threat on the boss because the tank bubbled but now he's just dead the obsidian beam is gonna go out and it hits the warlock now ironically the warlock lives where the tank was buried living like the tank actually took more damage percent wise of his health than i think the warlock did from that tank mechanic of course the warlock is the only battle res so while they're taking a tank mechanic they now have to battle res this guy he spawns at 100 health instantly into the beam obviously the warlock tried to res him and the beam is now passing over him and look at how fast he dies He's just standing in the beam with two stacks or whatever that is no more battle res you can see the battle res tracker up here on the top right no more battle reses so that tank is now dead for the rest of the fight you know maybe if the healer was more geared he'd be able to heal the hunter through that tank mechanic the dps shaman says tank boss away from the circles to have space for running and the paladin just puts a plus sign that used to confuse me but is that like a european thing where people just instead of saying okay they say plus like i don't understand the plus what would they say if they disagree a neg they, would they put a negative sign we're gonna do the fly mechanic again the guy did kind of learn from this it looks like you can see the dot it is definitely try uh, trying to fly and you could even at one point see him very very close to the person who recorded this kind of flying around just keep watching the dot gonna do some crazy stuff here probably doesn't fully understand why he needs to fly away everybody gets back look at the paladin still nowhere near the boat pay attention to how long it takes him kind of just flying around in circles up there eventually gonna come back here he's back now just in time for the tank mechanic luckily eight death coming up here mythic plus title holder is gonna stand in a ground mechanic that he needs to bait kind of does it you can see him there on the right side he's the nearer one i mean kind of the tank kind of ends up taking it closer and then i think the shaman just like doesn't properly know that you can move out of this but yeah boss is actually gonna die this time no issues it's time to you know continue on with the dungeon obviously you know we have a tank who doesn't really know where he's going so watch how this plays out they're kind of all pinging each other really similar situation to what we had in the video that harry submitted they're gonna land on this side is this the uh the meta route that people were talking about in that comment section thanks just nowhere i mean where even is he <laughs> is he doing some world quests in hollowfall warlock's following him take, take credit to the warlock he knows follow the tank at all times kind of glossed over this before but we need to kind of backtrack on it to explain the next part here so when all of this weird stuff happened here with this pack somebody bloodlust i guess it's the healer so we bloodlusted on a pole that's like already at 50 percent health right watch how this ends it's taking forever because one of the dps just isn't even here but it is finally over you can actually see like the duration of the bloodlust debuff up here so they use about half that bloodlust we have seven seconds left of it and at this point i think we're doing a strategy where we're just like no we wait for bloodlust to be over before we pull look at this we have seven seconds left of it and we're just like no 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 come on wait wait for this to be over then we'll pull but anyway that awkward bloodlust is now in play here because we're at this point and we have bloodlust been up for like two packs the healer is like thinking like okay we need to use this here right so using it to fight just the mini boss the other shaman says for what reason bloodlust because we bloodlusted presumably because i don't know why maybe not but, but presumably because we bloodlusted they're gonna go aggro more trash we got to make good use out of this bloodlust right healer says 
because of time, but basically saying like, you know, we haven't used it in a while probably. And the DPS shaman says it's boss week. Okay, meanwhile, these guys are typing, just standing in mechanics. Both of them are gonna end up dying. And then the funniest mistake of the video is about to come up. Pay attention here. So we're gonna go out this entrance here. Pay attention to the tank. He's got a box on his head, all right? So we kill one of the mini bosses partially because people told him where to go. This guy's in a rush though. So he just doesn't really care about that. He's just gonna go engage the boss alone with two mini bosses still alive. You really can't write some of this stuff. You got two players not here. They're both dead. Literally takes off on his own and decides, all right, I'm just gonna go fight the boss now. I mean, there's not even people close to him at this point. He just goes in alone. He <laughs> just gets utterly deleted. Probably never actually done this dungeon on any difficulty, right? Like given the fact that he pulls that boss there, especially alone, probably just never did it before at any difficulty level. The Shaman DPS says, what the fuck? This run is over time already. And they're, it's gonna only get worse from here. Finish the pack. I mean, Tank's like looking at his map, just trying to figure out, should I pull the boss now? I think I maybe now's the time to pull the boss. The DPS Shaman getting very impatient. He says, what are we waiting for? Oh boy. So here is the craziest part. I showed you some crazy stuff, right? This is the actual craziest part of this dungeon. We're down here, right? We saw this mistake. The guy flies into the boss alone, right? You can't do that if you're somehow not aware of this. You have to kill the mini bosses because they buff the boss dramatically, okay? So this whole time, people are criticizing the tank. They're saying, what are we waiting for? Where are we going? They're pinging. They're trying to instruct him on stuff, right? Pay attention to what's happening in the key right now. They're, they're all posturing here. They're all like, okay, it's time. Come on, bro. You're taking too long. Look at how long this is taking. We're not going to upgrade this key. The shaman healer. This guy's a fucking title level holder, right? He held the title at one point in his career. He tells the tank to fight the boss, despite the fact that they did not pull the second lieutenant. This guy is the guy who's apparently 548 item level, okay? Instructs the tank to fight the boss. We're, <laughs> We're getting knocked back. And there's like trash down here. I didn't even know there was trash down here. The DPS shaman says, this is so lost. The healer says, you're right, whatever. I mean, did nobody ever think to tell him to go fight the other mini boss? Like you're instructing him to do the wrong thing. <laughs> and I really feel like this key shows everything that you would need to see about why you, first of all, don't want to spend time in a five and why you should never be advocating for somebody who's capable of doing a 10 to go farm a five and then at the same time it also shows why these low keys are a mess because people are coming in here geared like this tank is geared he looks like a good invite and you end up with somebody who is just like literally never done the dungeon before so if you guys are out there running into moments like this please send them in man I, I i guarantee you there is no shortage of them and if you need an example of what we talked about in that video from last sunday then you see it right here this is maybe not exclusively because the delves are like gearing people out or other content are gearing people out and then pushing them into harder keys obviously this may not even be the case here but this is what it would look like if that was happening and so any more reasons for this to happen is just not a good idea and the problem is not on my end like i don't care if people are walking into low keys and never having done them before making buffoons of themselves but blizzard does the company does because those players are then complaining these are the kind of guys who are saying like the dungeons are too hard this is really difficult you need to nerf this too hard low keys are too hard these are the comments that are getting made and blizzard is like trying to respond respond to these people but they're just not even really worth responding to that's all i got man thank you for watching we will see you guys in the next one